Hello everyone and welcome to this short and sweet technical analysis update. My name is Victor, I'm a coach here at Chart Champions and today I want to talk to you about very important levels on the Bitcoin chart. One of them we just reached yesterday. So let's get into the charts. All right. Let's have a look at these levels then. This is where we left off last week on the public update. And as you can see, we have finally hit that juicy weekly level at 37,754. This was a very important, previously untapped level that has now been finally tapped and has already provided a very nice 3.5% bounce to the upside. That means scalp trades, day trades, very nice possibilities off of this level. But of course, the big question on your mind is, is the bottom in? Can I finally go YOLO all in on Bitcoin? Well, let's have a look at a few more things. The first thing I would like to do is to update some of these levels. This daily level, for example, has now been traded through several times, so it is not as interesting anymore. This one up here at 40,414 is an untapped daily level, which is already much more interesting. This daily level here at 42,750 has also been traded through. So strictly speaking, we could also remove it as it has already served its purpose of a possible rejection. And this one here is the one that has nearly been tapped and arguably we could leave it on as a possible resistance level. This one here at 46,583 is untapped and very nice. So I will leave it on. Now, of course, that we have tapped this weekly level to the downside, the big question is, well, what if this level doesn't hold? What if we continue lower? Where are our next support levels? If you remember from the last public updates, we were looking at a volume fixed range pool from the beginning of December 2021. Now, this pool shows that the point of control, this big red line in the middle, continues to be resistance and that the value area low is much lower than our current level. This is a possible target for a full rotation from the top of this big high time frame range to the bottom of this range. So without being too bullish or too bearish, this is just simply a range rotation from the highs to the lows that we can take into consideration. If we, however, want to find untapped horizontal levels as possible support, we're going to have to zoom out a little bit and start looking at this old price action from the summer of 2021. I've already prepared a weekly level, which of course can be drawn using the weekly chart like this. And you can see that this level is also untapped. This one is even lower than that value area low. So we would have to assume that not only does the 37, 7K area not hold, but that we also lose the value area low and then continue to move down to this weekly level here. Then if you want to find a, an untapped daily level to the downside, you have to go all the way down here to that 29K area. This, of course, being at 38,000 might sound pretty crazy, but it is a possibility that you have to entertain because it's important to be prepared for all scenarios. So if you remember, I'm just going to turn off the fixed range for a second. If you remember the Gartley harmonic from our previous updates, there was a primary target, which we already discussed here at the 39,000 area, which has been hit beautifully, and it even gave a nice reaction to the 42, 43K area. Now we are heading lower and there is a secondary possible target for this Gartley harmonic. This would be an extension, a Fibonacci extension from X to A pulled from D. And as you can see, this brings us down to around 29,000, which is coinciding with these lows from last summer. This of course is a target to keep in mind but as I mentioned, wait level by level to see what the reactions are at the levels in between. There's no need to be super bearish and no need to be super bullish either. 
I think this is a very important time to be patient as we have the monthly close two days away or actually three days away this weekend. This means that the way I'm approaching this is completely patient, not bullish, not bearish. I have taken profits on short trades because this is a nice support level. And now I am waiting for more data to come in. What does that mean? It means that I can turn on my order flow software and I can see what the reactions are around these levels. Yes, there was some bullish absorption when we hit that weekly level. And yes, there has been a rise in price. But as you can see by the open interest here, this has been mostly based off of short positions closing and not actually fresh longs opening. In other words, the reaction has been less than spectacular and it is not a reaction where you can say with certainty, oh wow, the bottom is in. So I remain patient. I know where my levels are to the upside and downside and I know what possible trades can be taken off of them. And as I mentioned, wait for the monthly candle to close and see how May gets started and what kind of data we have coming in. Even if you miss the perfect bottom, it does not matter. If we get a very nice bullish reaction in the coming month, well, great. We can jump into it once price has moved up with strength, changed market structure, and then we can get in on a retracement. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. If some of this was confusing for you, or maybe even all of this, don't worry. There is a place where you can learn more about how to use these techniques to find possible trade entries and how to trade in general. And that is chartchampions.com. Just head on over to the website and you can already start working through the beginner modules for free. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next public update. Bye-bye.